my thoughts on OnlyFans in 2020. From a moral perspective, I want better for our little girls. That's just from a moral perspective. Do I want to have a generation of little girls creating fans only accounts? I do not. That's just the truth, and you shouldn't either. Right? That's just moral. On a hustle perspective, I can't be mad because I did the same thing. I said this in my, my past videos, but I know a lot of people probably didn't watch them, so they don't know. And there's new subscribers as well, but I did porn at one point in my life. I had a porn account, a porn channel, and I had over 100,000 views. That's just the truth. You know, I'm not ashamed of anything I have done. I, my grandma always taught me if you're ashamed of it, you shouldn't be doing it. So, yeah, I used to do porn. And the reason I stopped doing porn was because I found no fat. No fap saved my life, for real. Like, not to sound like an infomercial or corny, but I was at a crossroad. Like, my, my porn channel was going up, and I, I felt like I feel successful. I felt like I was actually finna make it doing something. And then I ended up start falling in love with no fap, which is no masturbation and no porn. So I was torn because I started making these no fap videos. But then I'm out here pushing porn. So I feel like a hypocrite. So I had to choose one. And that's how you got Alpha Sincere. You know, I chose to do this over porn because in my eyes, porn wasn't helping the world. It was destructive. This is actually helping me and become better and get away from that destruction. So from a hustle standpoint, I get it because I know why I started doing it. It was strictly hustle. It was an opportunity. It was easy and it was a hustle. So I don't want to be a hypocrite. So that's how I look at it from a hustle standpoint. I'm more disappointed in the men than the women. My favorite quote is, treat a woman like a celebrity and she'll treat you like a fan. Shout out only fans. You know, everyone's making videos about these women for creating only fans. But honestly, I get it. Literally, like, I get it. Like, who wouldn't? I'm sorry, but like, right now, if a bunch of women wanted to pay me, well, not now because I'm trying to be on the right path, right? But I'm just saying overall, right? If a bunch of women wanted to pay you to send them sexual pictures, you ain't even got it. So you still, so technically, you're still doing your no fap and secret attention because you're not having sex with these women. But they want to give you their hard-earned money for sexual images and behavior. Most men would be lying if they say they wouldn't. So how could you be mad at that? You can't be. If anything, you should be more disappointed, which I am, in the men that give their hard-earned money away. Those are the guys that I'm disappointed in. I look at them as weak. The men you see out here that worship women. That's what disappoints me. More than the women. Because it's a hustle. Someone's willing to pay her. To do something so simple. She don't have to go clock in at a nine to five. She don't have to work a job she hates. She can live out her dreams, vacate. And I'm not condoning it. I'm just simply saying, logically, my street mentality, the hustle, I get it. But it's the sucker dude that's giving his hard-earned money to her just to see a picture of her feet. Just to watch her on the screen. I don't believe in prostitution, but I think prostitution makes more sense than that. Because at least you are with a physical woman. So those are my thoughts on OnlyFans in 2020. I wish everybody the best. Stay safe out there. Until next time, Alpha Sincere, salute.